video message. An extremist fanatic. My name is David Brunkett. <laughs> I am the most notorious militant in the shadowy terror group known as the Labour government. <laughs> this is a challenge to all members of Al-Qaeda. For many years, you have threatened to attack Great Britain. Well, now my message to you is simple. Bring it on. <laughs> Give me your best shot, son. Al-Qaeda's been giving it that for so long now, people are starting to think you're not so much of a threat as I say you are. So come on, come to Blunkett. Me and Bertie Bat are waiting. Mm. As for your choice of target, I'll leave it up to you. Down coming. It is a global depression, and one world currency and one world financial system is the end game. Cities across the American Southwest are on alert, and just now the Associated Press moved a bulletin saying that 75 students at a high school. The players that are analyzing everything are expecting massive foreclosures next year. In the beginning of what we call the recession, if you could be worse than 29. There's some kind of product. Well, the inside of the game, when we started using neutron bombs, today they figured that biologicals are much cheaper. Mm -hmm. They're still planning on, the plan is to get a war started in the Middle East. And they're still planning on using a neutron bomb or a, one of the bombs that they've got developed on Israel. Mm -hmm. And that's to begin uh, World War III. Then there would be asteroids, and then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. Circumstances, I'm not so sure I'd have come up with a better one. What makes you say that? At 6.22, the tags were triggered across Europe. The reports for the death toll at over 100 has never arrived in Hamburg. He's storming the U.S. Embassy. There's a government truck that says radioactive U.S. government plates, and then it's got these, these, these... ICBM pieces or nuclear reactors. Oh my God! Type BU. What in the world is this? I want to know what these are, man. I, people won't be able to tell me. I'm gonna put this up on the web. We're out here in the. I mean, look at this. It's got the radioactive sign. Oh, we're fine. Look, it's got the radioactive signs. Maybe they got like zombies in those tanks. shall now vote for approval of H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. Uh, said bill requests emergency response funding up to and including... Uh, I'm sorry, this section is classified. ...with something called a fuel air bomb, <clears throat> the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in our arsenal. The way it works, it explodes, sucks in all available oxygen to the core, vaporizes everything within a mile of ground zero, men, women, children, and one airborne virus. Destruction complete, case closed, price is over. What is willing to make for the spread of the virus is this. 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. Soldier 
officers will take you to a testing facility and you will know the results within a few hours. Early stages resemble the flu. Comedy Central's Guide to Life. How to cheat death in the event of a zombie attack. One. Do not venture outside. Sending waves of protest and outcry across the world. London, Moscow, Rio. People everywhere reacting to the fact... I'm preparing my family for the total destruction of the power grid. A devastating earthquake. A series of catastrophic terrorist attacks. Super volcano. Okay, okay. Under a doomsday scenario, I'll be the only one standing there who has another 100 pounds to lose. 700 cans. 241 pounds of cucumbers. We have weapons for every individual and a half. This is the lifestyle that we live. Let's go. We're bugging out. Bugging out. A brand new series, Doomsday Preppers. Myth Crackers, where we debunk rumors. Legend and all religion except the Jesus based ones. Tonight we take on the classic myth that a cat will always land on its feet. And we didn't want to hurt a real cat, so we took this build a bear carcass, stuffed it with ballistic gel, shot it with a 20 foot barrel steam cannon. Mm. What was it we were trying to prove again? Don't know, don't care. Welcome to the East End of London, the place that has encountered the most heinous villains ever to walk the earth. But until now, London has never seen anything as monstrous as this. He's eating a foot! Disgusting. This is an emergency broadcast. There is a viral infection spreading fast through the capital. Shut up, you shoppy tart. Those things out there are fucking zombies. Yeah, it's zombies. Is that as fast as they go? Yeah. Oh. That's how you do it. I'm going to see your face and see if I can contain it. Let's get to the docks. Piss off, you muppets. I'll tell you all about the sound of my fucking brother. Stop saying that. What about We have to go there. It's not that. Wake up, you silly old fucker. He's Mark and Jeff. It'd move a bit quicker if it was dinner time. Hon, there's zombies everywhere. The zombies? What are they on about? Oh, God. Oh, oh, it's a zombie. <laughs> oh, it's a zombie. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, it's a zombie. Boys, now you're talking my language. You gotta shoot him in the head. We know where to fucking shoot him. <laughs> There's a lot of Trafalgar's out there. Trafalgar Square, Fox in there. Leave him sick. And the Pommy and Fitch. And the Pommy and Zombie. It was a 9mm. <laughs> Oh, that was really sad, man. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Zombies! Get the fuck out of my East End! Throughout the annals of history, one day above all others has been associated with cataclysmic disaster. Tuesday, the stock market crash of 1929, Black Tuesday, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, the fall of Constantinople, the foot and mouth crisis, all on a Tuesday, the Spanish flu pandemic, the birth of Piers Morgan, Tuesday, the Great Fire of London, probably a Tuesday, the eruption at Krakatoa was on a Monday, the day before Tuesday, the premiere of Police Academy 7, Tuesday, officially the worst day of the week. If you look at the evidence, of, of which there's very little, there is no conclusive proof that this is a terrorist act. And I believe... Not conclusive, son? Excuse me. by the river shore of a glass of water. The people... I, for one, believe that our president has spread our defense resources entirely... Yeah, to we're not getting any words in here, edgewise. One of the yeah, time, please. That's, that's ignorant. People, for example, 
Get your guns and your bombs and start exercising your God-given right to exercise your God-given right. And shudder the thought, night of the living debt. A rally by protesters dressed up as zombies in support of the fourth weekly casseroles event in NYC. New York. Why are zombies so hot this year? It's like the year of vampires and zombies. It's amazing, I know, I don't know. During recessions, I think the zombies do come out. <laughs> Hey, crazy hope already, Bible code, you have escaped.